skepticism out. So it was a little bit of both. I actually felt what he was feeling a little bit, but also a little bit about doubt. So when you say doubt, doubt about what? Whether, whether it was just my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So that's my truth for me. Okay. Anybody else? Because see, what, what I find to be so fascinating, every time I do these demonstrations, and this was a very short one, most of the time the men in the audience start crying and yelling if they allow themselves to really feel what's going on inside of themselves. Or they leave the room. Because watching another man go through such an experience actually brings up all of the things that you have inside yourself. And a lot of times, it's, it's just too much. You know, I don't, I don't know which one of you guys bought the DVD from last time when we were here, but I get all the time that somebody will get the DVD and they'll say, I watched all of it except for the male session. I couldn't get myself to sit through it. I get it all the time. And I'm saying all this to you because when I first come in here and I say to you, you know, I understand that it's beautiful that you guys are all working on yourselves and this and that, but if you think you got it going on, if you find yourself in difficulty watching a man process the feelings, because that stuff comes up for you, then you have a lot of things to be looking at inside yourself and a lot of room where you could be growing. Like I said, you, you, you're powerful beyond your imagination. And you think you're all that when you're this big. When your energy comes up inside of you and starts to really show you what you're all about, it scares the fuck out of you. And it's so beautiful because it's totally in alignment with what he read as an introduction for today. <laughs> I'm 
the fuck? And the other thing is, this is just, you know, you guys wanted to see energy. Something, you wanted to see a little trick. So I showed you something. But it, I understand that also for him, this is a vulnerable thing to be in a room full of men and a woman present. Um, watching him go through this kind of a place, but where I do sessions also, it's more or less soundproof, so it really allows for the man to feel more comfortable being more vocal mm -hmm. um, and really allow himself to sink in deeper so that he could give himself permission to express some of those feelings that there may be some resistance to. And some of the feelings that I, could, I looked at, I looked at your guys' faces, and I could see things arising for all of you. I see you guys looking away. I see you guys getting uncomfortable. Not all of you, but many of you here. So I'm saying to you, you know, if that comes up for you, why? What do you have to look at inside yourself to see where you resonate with the same feeling? Because all of you do. That's the reality of it. You know, I meet men all the time and they act like they're all that. Once they get on that table and the energy comes out, they really get to see how much of themselves they're really using. How much of that energy they're actually able to walk with in the world. The source of the process is um largely intent or is it largely uh, like logistics, the actual physicality of what's going on? And when you say physicality, what are you speaking of? Where your hands are and the stuff, what's moving where and how. Well, see, intention, it's all energy. So I've done demonstrations where I actually start off without waving my hand. I start off sitting. And so I'm moving energy in the man's body through my consciousness alone, just through my own awareness. Because if I can understand how to move energy inside my own body and I'm really in tune to that, then I can also understand how to connect to him with my energy and then move my energy connected to his, therefore by default I'm moving him. So I say it's not intention like you get this idea, you sit down and you go, oh, I'm going to do this thing no but I can move my I can move his energy just with my awareness or I can move my hand I can do it with my hand but you're still dealing with energy how difficult is it for you Sasha to work with somebody who's open versus somebody who's maybe not open but here's the thing I told him when we were back there I said I'm going to do this. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but I'm going to do it. And every single demonstration that I've done has always been a first-timer. And I do that on purpose so that when people watch, they can't say, oh, well, you worked with that person, and, you know, that, that's impossible. I'll never pick somebody, or at least I haven't thus far picked somebody that I've worked with previously. And usually it's just a volunteer. And, you know, I asked him first because you guys were doing your little thing, so I took him to the side and asked him if he would be open if I was going to do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Orgasm is just energy moving through the body freely. So when the body work's being done on a woman, in a lot of instances, because of the nature of the woman, she's much more willing, more or less, to let go. So whatever has been in the body, whatever's been stored in the body, she'll scream at the top of her lungs, she'll get over it, process it, cry. I mean, she goes through all kinds of things. Take her a little moment, long moment, and then she rides out with a <coughs> sexual orgasmic wave. For the men, they've been holding so much inside and so much has been put inside of them that in order for the energy to start moving freely in the body where you're in an orgasmic state, it's going to hit up against the places that have been 
lodged, the things that are lodged in the body that don't belong there. So when it hits up on those places, the man really needs to allow himself to express those things. And that's where the re resistance comes up. You know, I say re allow your voice to come out. But it's like the energy is so strong, you know you've got to just roar at the top of your lungs. And whatever arises to f just want to kind of suppress it, you got to let the energy have you. So it's a clearing out process for a lot of men. So people say, why does it look so painful? And I'll, you know, he could tell you guys from his own opinion what his experience was like. So when you say energy, how similar is it to like when like people practice Asian martial arts and like they talk about chi? It's chi. It's so it's the same. Energy is energy. So you could be doing Reiki, you could be doing Qigong, you could be doing Tai Chi. You're playing with the what, same the What I heard him, thing. the sounds that he was making sound a lot like the sounds that people make when they're practicing like Qigong or like martial arts. Yeah, the difference is that when they're practicing martial arts, they're actually <laughs> consciously making those sounds in order to um, enhance or control or emphasize certain energy in their body. What you're seeing here is the energy wanting to express itself. So it's actually more or less out of his control. So at the beginning, sometimes I'll tell the man, allow a little bit of sound out on the exhale. So yeah, he's doing that consciously. But eventually, the energy just takes over, and it has power over you. Now you're trying to suppress it, but you see the coughing and the, the choking because it, it wants the voice. Um, what was the thing I was saying before you asked me a question, though? Because I wasn't done. <laughs> Why do most men look like they're painful? Oh, right. Thank you. And so a lot of people say, why does it look so painful? And I say, for a lot of men, it's not painful. It's actually, even if they're yelling and screaming and crying, it's an opportunity for them, maybe for the first time in their lives, to tap into some of those feelings and allow themselves to be expressed. So in a certain way, it feels good. I've never had a man get off the table and say, oh, I didn't enjoy it. They're like, oh my god, thank you so much. I've been wanting to do that my whole life. Just to get rid of all of that that's been put inside of you, programmed inside of you. And this is what I'm saying about um, you having limiting beliefs, whatever it is, these patterns that you create that are not you. When that energy comes up inside of you, it's going to push out on everything that is not who you are. and it gets released out of the body. And this is how this work differs from therapy. You're working with the body. Because with therapy, it's like you can be shuffling information around left and right, left and right, but here, I'm not even saying anything. I just go right to the body, the energy does everything. And then it really clears, paves the way for you to actually grow and build something. So if you take all these trainings, save and, you know, for example, in the pickup artist industry. You can take all the trainings in the world, but when it comes down to you being alone in a room with a woman, the fears still come up, the anxiety still comes up, because it's in the body. So if you can get rid of what's been in the body, then they can actually be able to do some of the things that they learned when the situation arises. So the, the only way to release the, the trapped energy, it's like expression? Self-expression? Yeah, because see, what happens is that the, the when, say you're in a situation that's somehow uncomfortable, awkward, anything that is unlike who you are, when it goes inside, whether you're in interaction with somebody, you're speaking to them, something of that sort, the body becomes tense. If you don't allow yourself in that moment to just breathe, relax, fully feel whatever the feeling is, be it anger, sadness, whatever it is, it's going to get trapped because you're creating an environment for it to get trapped in. So when I'm doing energy work, the energy begins to vibrate in these places that appear to be solid, which on a physical level is usually chronic tension. So when they begin to vibrate and create more space and more space, and then those feelings come up to the surface, and if you allow yourself to feel through them fully, which you never gave yourself the opportunity to do before, then they leave and come up to the surface on their way out. <laughs>